Let's go! It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'm back with another one. We're going to be talking about faith-based meme coins. And I don't think a lot of people know how massive these faith-based meme coins can become. So if you like videos about meme coins, of course, you know, you're in the right channel. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms. And to all the haters, the haters that watch my videos, I love y'all too. I love y'all too. It's all love. Peace and positivity. Let's spread great vibes out there. So let's talk about Jesus and Buddha token because I want to I wanna cover a few things that I think a lot of people are sleeping on with these projects. And first and foremost, salute to the, the, the Buddha team for quickly, you know, quickly getting on uh, CoinMarketCap here. Uh, they was able to get on CoinMarketCap, Coinbase Wallet. I mean, and they did that quick, what, eight to ten days, right? And we only talk about how fast the grower count has been growing for these face-based meme coins now in my opinion these are the two biggest ones i know there's other ones out there y'all probably if you know any other ones let me know inside the comments or if you if you have you a dev and you have one holla at midi holla at milli you feel me but again i think i think these are two of the biggest ones all right now uh, let me put it out there you know i was in buddha since i've been in excuse me been in buddha since day one all right been in buddha since day one all right and jesus token man i wish i would have you know found jesus token you know found jesus found jesus token right in its beginning stages but um even with the project man i made i met some good people in that project salute to maker lee man one of the most based devs in the cryptocurrency space this guy's a genius as you can see right here man he sent randomly sent jesus to uh donald trump's wallet right and decrypt did an article on the tokens that were in uh donald trump's wallet and you can see right here jesus so the guy man you you cannot sleep on developers you cannot sleep on developers that execute and have forward thinking i know both of these developers devs founders right they're not devs but founders of the project but they have a developer team and i know both of these guys for the buddha token stand up guy founder stand up guy i've talked to him personally right maker stand up guy i've talked to him personally so you that right there you got bullish teams bullish teams make <laughs> you know uh, archie put it out there you know team you know mean thousand x right so there's a possibility that both of these project could explode and i want to talk about why because there's a hidden demand that i think a lot of people are not paying attention to first and foremost let's talk about the tokens right so Buddha token here, uh, sitting here, right? Let's see with the uh, market cap currently 1.25. So this one has a massive potential, right? And we're going to be talking about this, right? Um, about 600 holders. Uh, the self circulating supply is 5%. So they're doing the same type of event leading up to Buddha Day, right? And um, they have the uh, Buddha spaces where people just are just chill and, and, and passing out those positive vibes. So the spaces uh, in increase engagement with the community, which could increase adoption option down the line if these guys are able to execute long term now of course anything can happen in cryptocurrency the etf could get denied and some of these projects will dump off and create opportunity for the people to have the warren buffett mentality now again um you can go you guys can go check out the ether scan and do all the crazy stuff y'all do about the whole five percent and all that extra stuff right they, they, in short they're doing specific like in a way the same event that we seen from the jesus token with a little twist to it because um the founder in the lead uh the founders and his team of developers were able to do things a little bit different where they don't make some of the same mistakes that maker made which he openly said hey this was a mistake. You can see that the fully diluted market cap is 26 million. So a lot of liquid there. And this project has been um, growing, growing, growing um, at a rate, right? 1.2%. I want y'all to remember that, right? 631 holders. Now, if we swing over, okay, uh, we, we swing over to why is this important now i got a chart for you guys i want to i want to i want y'all to focus on this chart here right um for buddha we'll do buddha first and we'll do jesus next buddhism um is around 6.7 so we'll just say seven percent of the world are buddha right they're buddha so if you did the math right because i use um ai to ai tools man, blows my mind right and let's just say only one percent one percent of all buddha say hey we want to get into Buddha cryptocurrency, and we're seeing this from the Jesus, like Jesus community. Not yet from the Buddha because it's still early, and I think um, 
the Jesus token from a genuine standpoint, right? Like they have people that's really, really about their life, right? I am now starting to see Buddha community has some real Buddha people that's really, really about that life. So with that being said, this is the amazing thing about faith-based tokens, right? And why it's okay to have some type of exposure to them, right? All right. Now I'm not saying I'm this or that, but I am just speculating upon what potentially could happen if this thing gets massively adopted. So if Buddha cryptocurrency coin manages to captivate just 1% family, 1% of Buddhists worldwide by 2025, peak bull run, right? Considering there are about 7.1 Buddhists, global population following Buddhism, Buddhist, Buddhism it would translate into a staggering 4.9 million holders. This scenario imagines a small but significant fraction of the Buddhist community embracing the coin, reflecting a potential widespread adoption within this demographic. Now, this could be something that you'd be like, oh, well, Millie, uh, I don't see, you know, you don't know. We don't know. We don't know how cryptocurrency will look in 2025. We don't know how churches may adopt it. Religion may adopt it in 2025, because at the end of the day, you got to look at it. Uh, why wouldn't a faith want its own currency right you know i can see why a faith would want its own currency especially if you've ever went to church and you know how tithing is how the church business standpoint is being ran hence the reason you got people like him all right here this guy i think he bought the like the the, the jesus church domain or something like i think he something i didn't watch the whole video um correct me if I'm wrong church crypto church.com i think he just bought it for 20k but uh, go watch this video. I plan on watching this a little bit more. I watched it a little bit. But a little bit more of this video after I finish this video that I'm making, of course. But these are the things that's happening where you're starting to see the actual faith adopt the token. So there's, poten there's potential there, right? So it all depicts upon if this could get possibly adopted by Buddhists themselves. Now, we don't know. But hey. What I've been seeing from the Jesus community tells me that this could happen because Jesus, as you can see right here, volume is up 41%, sitting at a $36 million market cap and only 19% of the, percent of the supply is circulation. Um, coin market cap did um, update the information on how to burn and everything works and the fully diluted is 187. Want to make that clear, it wasn't necessarily a burn, but basically a unlockable lock on a token, right? Um, Maker said it perfect perfect example right he said hey it's like throwing your ledger in the ocean and no one ever being able to find it so there was a lot of people talking about that um blockchain and i don't want to get into it that's that's the negative aspect but uh just do your research right and understand how the blockchain works so i wouldn't focus on dilution or inflation with neither one of these tokens because there's a hidden agenda that they're working to push and i think a lot of people are looking at it from the crypto aspect opposed to what they're actually working to accomplish so we could see a massive rise headed into uh, uh what's it called um 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 what you know you know what happens in april i lost my i lost my easter <laughs> we can see a massive push from something like jesus jesus coin entering easter easter we can see a massive push from buddha because it's the year of the dragon and maybe headed into buddha day so they both have their uh opportunity to reach a a buy or rumor sell the news event we've seen one with jesus but jesus in my opinion has another one set up if you look at what happens around easter right so let's get into the jesus coin aspect and the ability for it to be adopted by christians over the world they currently have fourteen thousand holders and i think they did this in anywhere between six to eight months which is insane this tells me that it's growing at a massive rate if you ever tune in into the the spaces what they got going on church like it's real deal it's like regular church right people are are, are giving their testimonies people are you know what i'm saying uh, uh explaining good bad positive just you know open talk about their life and how this community is bringing them to their savior in christ okay so i'm not here to again focus on that aspect but it's there and because it's there we got to have a look at the christian you know the christianity across the world which is apparently 39 30.9 percent and they are uh saying by 2050 there will be approximately 2.9 billion people that are christian so christianity actually is the number one religion around the world and is growing at a massive rate it's so massive that 
If the Jesus cryptocurrency captures the interest of just 1% of the global Christian population by 2025, given that Christians make up approximately 30.9% of the world's population, this would equate to a remarkable 216 21 million holders, which is crazy. You imagine this? I know it sounds crazy, but can you imagine just one percent, just one percent, family, one percent? Where are they at right now? Right? Uh, uh, where are we at? Right? Two point, two point. We're already at two, two point something billion of Christians around the world. So that is insane information, in my opinion. Now, will it happen? Probably not. Can it happen? Who knows, right? We don't know what what can push this type of adoption. But um, I would say the biggest difference between something like Buddha, the Buddha token, and the um, Jesus token, in my personal opinion, again, I don't have a favorite in this. I think both have their, you know, their conversation of why it could be massive. But just with the Jesus token, when you look at who's behind it, maker, right? Um, very, you know. <laughs> He's, he's the people look at him as Jesus, right? <laughs> Looks like Jesus, right? So, I mean, like the um, the genuine factor for the Jesus community and the fact that you know they they really are about that life. Like, if you, they are really they, a lot more different than Buddha. Buddha is more chill; they don't force things upon you. Jesus community is like really, really about that life. Which, in my opinion, we could see some type of supply shock from that project because they are literally growing. A organic Christian community with this project. I hate to say it like that, but they are. They are, and you cannot ignore it. You cannot ignore it. So, will these projects hit those heights as far as holders? Most likely not. It's a 90% chance it won't happen. I want to make that clear. But I had to put that in your head because nobody's actually looking at the numbers and the stats and how this can correlate together and how this could massively just blow up from an adoption standpoint. So, it, for that reason, I decided to have exposure to both tokens. I'm not here to compare both tokens. I just want to have exposure to both. I mean, I think that um, by 2025, we can see some pretty remarkable runs from faith-based meme coins. If you know any faith-based meme coins that I didn't talk about today in this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know the chances of this happening, the chances of these um, faith-based projects being adopted by the actual faith i want to know everybody's comments man i don't know i was looking at these numbers like this is crazy uh, but i don't want to you know here to lead people on this is highly um you know from a spectator's point of view and 90 percent of the you know chance that this will not happen so um just a cool little video to give you guys some numbers and what what uh, how i look at these faith-based mean course y'all let me know your opinion on it it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one